have a cylindrical object here and we have our image here. So essentially what we're trying to create is something along the lines of this. So how are we going to do that? Well, very straightforward. Jump back into this image. I'm going to use Command A to select it all. And remember to make sure that layer is separate from background layer. Command C to copy. If I come back into this image here, if I press Command V, I will drop this in here as such. Now, next thing I want to do is make sure this is converted to a smart object. I'm going to right click here, convert to smart object. So now that saves the image um, within the smart object. So when I distort, I can still address the original artwork. So I'm going to make this a little smaller. So I'm in the new version of CC, so I don't need to worry about holding Alt and Shift to keep this in dimension. So if I just drag that down here, bring that roughly there, and then maybe then tilt this slightly, just because this is on a bit of a tilt. Place that there, and if you want a little bit of help with this, if you bring down the opacity here, you can just zoom in here and just roughly get an idea of where everything is. What I'm going to do now is go to Edit, Free Transform, and then if I hold Command or Control on the edges here, I can bring this in. and follow the angle of the bottle. Once I'm happy with the arrangement, I come to this button here, and then once my warp commands come up, I will come down to arch. Bring the arch down then, so that I'm in line with this bottom area here. And again, we'll take a little bit of fiddling. And then finally then, if I come back to custom, you'll see that the handles have appeared. What I can do now is if I bring the center bits, click and drag outwards, I can create more of a curved distortion. And again, if I want to bring these up here, a touch, press enter, zoom that out so that's looking good. And then finally then, if I want to add the finishing touches, if I come here, try a few of these options, um, something like hard light, just so I get a little bit of that background bottle coming through. And there you have it. So that's how you warp an image around a cylindrical object in Photoshop. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe, and I will see you guys for the next tutorial.